I'm very quiet when it comes to game time. I sit down and I listen to my classical music. I have to keep reassuring myself and my other teammates who catch me doing that. It's like, no, it's the calm before the storm. Christian has unbelievable body strength and body control. He squats well over 700 pounds. He power cleans from close to 400 pounds. Christian has a very soft demeanor off the field. He's very approachable. He always has a smile on his face. But on the field, you see this young man running around and uh, throwing all American tackles and linemen around and just so aggressive. You see a 290 pound young man running around on his toes and just looking like he weighs 150 pounds. Rice University defensive tackle Christian Covington did not have to look far to find his inspiration to play football. Ever since I saw my dad play it, ever since I watched him play, I knew that's what I wanted to do with my life, I wanted to play football. His dad is Canadian Football Hall of Famer Grover Covington, the CFL's all-time sacks leader. Grover played 10 seasons with the Ticats and was named defensive MVP of the 1986 Grey Cup. These days, Grover's greatest passion is watching his son play the game they both love. I wish I was like a monster like him. I was never as strong as him when I was in my prime, so <laughs> yeah, he's way ahead of me. It's been cool to watch him. I've been able to watch some film on him. My favorite tape of him is just watching the 1986 Grey Cup. The thing that stands about that game is I just see him just sack Matt Duncan. It's gonna be forever in my mind. Grover coached Christian at Vancouver College, where they won a provincial championship together. Ranked as the top defensive lineman in Canada with 83 tackles in his senior year, Christian was recruited hard by Rice. They knew all about his football pedigree. Rice assistant head coach Daryl Patterson was a teammate of Grover's with the Tiger Cats in the late 80s. He's a chip off the old block. Grover was his coach, and by doing that, Grover taught him the skills of an outside player. My dad, he's always told me, son, whenever you're off the field, you try, to, you try to be the nicest guy. As soon as you put one foot on that field, you just have to go out and dominate. This year, in his sophomore season, Christian took his father's advice to heart. In the season opener versus Texas A&M, Christian made the biggest play of his career, sacking Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Menzel. Oh! For him to beat the All-American O-lineman and then to sack the Heisman Trophy, I mean, that is just a dream, a dream for a dad to see. It was surreal, so to speak, because as soon as the play was over, it's like, uh, did, did that just happen? <laughs> That's when we all went, whoa, <laughs> as a staff. But while Christian has inherited the same fierce drive his dad showed on the field, Grover says his son is blazing a path of his own. Christian doesn't want to be like Grover. Christian wants to be Christian. To have the relationship I have with my father, he is my best friend. He tells me, basically, every time I step onto that field, I have to uh, seize the day and enjoy it.